Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Master System. Now I've never ever played this game. But I watched uh, someone do a Let's Play of this uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now I remember some of the stuff he found, like uh, a couple of the Chaos Emeralds, the harder ones to find. So I might be able to get all six. And you know, I, I actually like the look of it so I thought, why not? I'm going to play it. I'm going to post a link to his um, Let's Play because he's a lot better at this game than I am. Oh shit. Oh wow. I had the uh, invincibility. Thank Christ for that. There's just so many cool things about this like game. The jump is a lot harder to get used to and the graphics are, you know, the 8-bit version. What do you expect? And considering that they're less, it's still really cool. The jumping is really hard to get used to. Ooh, you lose all of your rings when you get hit and you have no chance of picking them up really. Um, the music is the same, but 8-bit rendition. I think uh, Masato Nakamura did the 16-bit and I think Yuzo Koshiro did the, uh, did the um, renditions, converting them into 8-bit. I'm not too sure on that. Yuzo Koshiro you might remember from Streets of Rage and Revenge of Shinobi. But yeah, this, I love it when you press down to duck or roll. He makes this like a really cool noise. I get these rings. And yeah. It's just a quirky little game. It's got a lot of charm. And I, I really like it. Okay, I didn't actually know I could go in here. I just took a chance and wow um, so yeah I, I don't know where all of the chaos emeralds are even though I did watch my friends let's play which I'll post a link to I've said that already but um, yeah I, I will try and get all of them and I'll try and do this game justice like he did it's just if you like the first Sonic game you, you, you'll love this it's a little easier than the first one though. On the Mega Drive. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't actually know that was a I was trying to jump over the gap. But yeah, uh so far there are there are things that I know of that I can explain now. When you die in this game, unlike the uh previous game uh, for the Mega Drive if you picked up a life and go back to a checkpoint that life will still be taken once you've died whereas in Sonic 1 on the Mega Drive the box would come back as well so you could like keep your life up if you know where they are but you can't do that in this which is pretty good actually and as far as I know it's the only Sonic game I know of that when you finish a level and go on to the next act you keep your shield how awesome is that? Actually, I think you're doing Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I should say. Because the axe just merged straight in. Okay, never mind. But still, this is the first game where I know of it happening. And it's... this is the special stage, so we don't get the Chaos Emeralds here. I think you get a life and a continue, you just gotta find them and then get to the end. So I need to get up there. Uh, I don't really know how to do that. Um, okay. Try and bounce off that. But Okay, I don't know how to get up there. So I will just head to the end. And... Oh, okay. The screen doesn't go back. I was going to get a couple more rings. but So I'm stuck here. So I'm going to cut some of this time out for you. And I will see you in a few seconds. And we are back. So yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, you should definitely watch my friend's Let's Play of this. He's uh, a lot better at it than I am. Okay, nothing in the trees. The background is quite uh, 
bleak. Oh shit, I wasn't trying to roll. Luckily there was a path here. I think there's a life on every boss level, but I'm not sure. And as I said, if you die, if I die now and have to come start through the boss again, that life will have been taken. Which is a really cool thing. So how do I do this guy? I don't think I can actually hit him while he's up there. Ah, he comes down. That's okay then. Whee! Where are you? Come on, come down again. I did just notice you have unlimited time on the boss as well. Cause there we go. He's dead. Because uh, there's no timer in the top left corner. Okay, so that is stage one, Green Hill Zone. And that's all for this part. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll load up the next zone and then I'll turn it all off as usual. If you be kind enough to like and subscribe, that would be great. If not, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I will see you in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.